So welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be swatching and reviewing MUA lipsticks and lip liners. Now they have got a wide variety of lipsticks in both satin finishes and matte finishes. So what I did was picked up four of those. I picked up two mattes and two satins for us to try today. I also picked two lip liners to go with the colours that we've kind of got. So let me just show you the lip liners. I got two of these as I said. So this one is your Brooding Plum and this one is Dark Thistle. Now I was drawn to this name of this pencil because I'm Scottish so Dark Thistle just drew me to it as well as the colour is just absolutely divine. Now what I love about these lip liners is as you can see in the lid we have a built-in sharpener. Now how good is that because that saves all the fumbling about for a sharpener. You've got it right there in the lid all you do is just twist and that's you. Voila ready to go. So yeah I really like this. Now this came in at a pound. Both of these a pound each. So I can't wait to see how they play out on the lip. If they're going to pull or tug, we shall soon see. Now let me talk a little bit about lipsticks before we get started with our swatching. So the white packaging here is your matte finishes. I just really love the packaging. It's a high gloss package with obviously the brand name on the front. I just love it. What's also very quirky about these lipsticks is at the bottom, is this clear little pot here and it shows off the colour you've got but you unscrew this little bit and it gives you an extra little bit of colour. Now I really really like that I think it's really cute and I think it's a great idea so if you're running low on your lipstick you know that in the bottom of this you've got a little pot that still has a little bit of colour. So excellent idea. And obviously your satin finishes are in this black high gloss packaging. Again, I really, really like that. And the same thing goes for these ones as well. You get a little pot of colour in the bottom. So if you're running low, you know you've got that handy little pot in the bottom. So yeah, an absolute fab idea. And again, these lipsticks are so affordable. These were like a pound each for all of them, a pound each. So girls, we can't complain with that price tag. And I just hope for the price tag, these lipsticks work as well when they're on the lip. So if you want to see how that goes, keep on watching. So guys, I'm going to go in first with our Brooding Plum lip liner and I'm just going to line those lips. As you can see, the pigmentation is there straight away. And I'm not really having to push hard either to get that colour pay off, which is completely amazing. And it's just a really creamy consistency. That's what my little girl thinks of this. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely loving the colour pay off of this lip liner. And I just love the colour, how rich and creamy it is. I just adore it. So let's go in there with one of our matte finishes and I'm going to take this one here. So this is what that looks like in the bottom. So the name of this is Mystic Marcella. So this is the colour we've got here. So I'm just going to apply that on and see how we go. I really like that. That's so nice on the lip. Absolutely lovely. No real problem applying. They went on okay. There was a little bit of a little bit more effort needed, but I think that's because of the matte finish. I'll compare that to when I'm applying the satin finish and see how that goes. But as far as pigmentation, it is so there as you can clearly see. I absolutely love this colour. Mystic Marcella has it's like I would even say there's like a deep pinky rose tone to this lipstick. I absolutely love it. I really, really do like this colour and it goes so well with the lip liner that we're wearing as well. So yeah, absolutely loving this colour. So thumbs up for the first one. Okay guys, so the next lipstick is Wild Berry. So this is what it looks like in the bottom here. So a very rich, deep berry plum colour. So when you pop that up, this is what you're getting here. So a very deep, dark, rich colour. So let's see how this plays out. So 
So again, a really nice ready plum color. What I will say with this one is it looks very dark when it's in the tube, but when it's applied to the lip, it doesn't come off as dark as that. Um, it just gives the lip a really nice flush of color. So yeah, again, another color that I would wear no problem, a really nice, blush of colour and this will go as, as well as your Mystic Marcella they will go with more of a copper eye or a burnt orange eye or like a goldy colour eye but yeah absolutely loving the colour not the best application I have to say but you see what it does so again the two matte finishes I am loving I would say the Wild Berry was a little harder to get on the lip but I think all you would have to do is just hold it in your hand and warm it for a few seconds and then apply it but it feels nice on the lip it's not heavy it's not tacky and it just feels really comfortable to wear okay so we're going to go in with a dark thistle and I'm going to just line my lips with that and then we're going to go in with that nice purple satin lipstick oh do do Same as Brooding Plum, this went on the lip so easy and I'm absolutely loving the colour of it. I just absolutely love that purpley colour. It's just so nice. So let's go in there with this one right here. So this one is Mulberry and this is the colour. How pretty is that looking? I can't wait to try this one. I really can't. Let's see how we go. That is beautiful, absolutely stunning colour. Now that went on so easy, it went on like a dream and the colour payoff is fantastic. This is like a more sheen cream lipstick. I absolutely love it, it feels so nice on the lips, very hydrating and moisturising. What I would say to you though guys, if you suffer from dry lips, which I tend to sometimes, I would definitely say to moisturise your lips or even exfoliate them before you apply like a sheen lipstick because sometimes these kind of lipsticks can pick up on the loose bits of skin and that's not what any woman wants to see that on our lips so just remember to moisturize and exfoliate your lips before applying a sheen lipstick but the color is super lovely really really nice color so so far out of the three we've just swatched and tested I say Mulberry is winning so far. I'm absolutely loving the colour. And like I said, I'm just loving how easy that application was. Okay, so last one we have here is this like dusky baby pink. And this is in Tulip. And I've just applied a little bit of concealer around there because I was losing the makeup around the mouth. And I'm going to go without lip liner just to see how well these apply without. So this is what that looks like there. Isn't that a nice colour, nice summery look? So let's go. another lovely colour. I am surprised with this one I have to say because I have to watch what I do with light pinks because sometimes because I am so pale, I mean I'm ghostly white, I live in Scotland, they can kind of wash me out a bit so but this one looks really really nice on, it's kind of even going with the colours that I've got on today. I would say out of all four this is the easiest one to apply, a bit more glossy a little bit more glossier than the one before which was mulberry I'd say this just applied even easier than that one I would definitely say out of the four that we've tried today the two mattes are slightly harder to apply but I would just say like I said before just heat them up for a few seconds in your hand and then apply but yeah absolutely loving all these colours and I just it's how affordable they are I mean these are a pound a lipstick the lip liners are a pound a piece so an amazing price tag. So just a little recap guys before we clock off. Your black packaging, satin finish, your white packaging is your matte finish. I'm about to lose that pencil there. 
Again, I'm loving the little pots of colour at the bottom. So again, it gives you just that extra little bit of colour for when your lipstick is running low. You're getting 3.8 grams of product, which again is very, very good. And like I said, a pound a piece. They apply excellent to the lips. They look great on the lips. And your sheen lipsticks to me are like the matte cream lipsticks. That's kind of what they make me think of. Um, so excellent. As you can clearly see, all the ones we've swatched today, the pigmentation has been amazing. They look amazing on the lip and they feel amazing. None of the lipsticks we tried today were heavy and they just feel really comfortable on the lips. And especially your sheen ones, they just feel so hydrating. So guys, I have really enjoyed testing these lipsticks out. I am definitely going to be purchasing more colours out of both sides, matte and satin. And I just hope you guys really liked this video as much as I have filming it and trying them on so if you liked the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do already because it'll help me out a ton so until the next video guys take care i love you and we'll see you then bye